This is the asset tracking cards template at SharePoint-Boards.com. This template allows you to set up a nice looking asset tracking system in a SharePoint list and to display information in a way that's going to be visually appealing to the users, including the image of that asset. In order to use this template, you do need to set up specific fields. Those are listed in the blue box in the lower left corner. So as a first step, make sure that you have set up each of these fields. You can just run through this list and it's described precisely the field type and what you should call each of those fields. Alternatively, you may download a list template which is linked in that uh, description area and you can upload that list template to SharePoint if you want to do that instead of creating each of the fields individually. There is a link which explains how to use list templates in the bottom of that notes section. I do have my SharePoint list set up including those columns and right now it's just in the regular out-of-the-box SharePoint list view. This includes fields for the simple name of the item and then uh, the brand model and then a category. You can set your own categories. An ID value for the asset, the serial number, quantity, and then its current status, the location when it was purchased, and then the uh, picture of the item. So we've got all of those key pieces of information that you would want to use for asset tracking. So let's start out by applying the regular out-of-the-box template just to look at this and see how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the copy template button and then follow the steps that are in the pop-up window. Then you can go over to SharePoint, go to the View Selector, and you need to select Format Current View. In that window, click on Advanced Mode, and then select all and paste your template code, and, and there you go. Now let's talk about what we're looking at. This has the name of the item shown on the top, and then we've got the um, make and model there and then our category and other information as, as far and also a uh, overall status. And then we've got its location and then the name of the uh, user connected to that item. I can click on the image to see the full sized image that's stored in a SharePoint image field. So as you can tell this organizes those assets in a way that's going to be visually appealing, especially because it includes images which you can load. Now, if you want to update the item, you can click on the update button, and that's how you can make updates to those assets in your list. And naturally, as you add assets to the list, you're going to have quite a lot. I would recommend that you make filtered views based on different criteria for their assets. So that could be based on the status or the category um, or dates or things like that or the, or the user. So having some different filtered list views could help you have more specific sets of assets so you can have a little bit more of a focused experience. And then of course you can do sorting as well. There are additional theme options you can choose from. Um, so you can look at those. And then, of course, you can do things like adjust the font size um, and font family. You can adjust the padding, background colors. All of those types of things are available to adjust. So you can keep work with this until it appears exactly the way that you want. So I hope you find that useful. This is again the asset tracking cards template at SharePoint-Boards.com. If you do not yet have a account, you can get a free account, which includes 20 free templates at SharePoint-Boards.com. I hope you find that useful and I hope you can use that to set up your own 
asset tracking system in a SharePoint list. Good luck.